Vistave Arms was founded in 1853. It cast its first cannon in Kravievas. The factory was a leading producer and exporter in Serbia. This building is what's left after the devastation of 1999. Bill Clinton and Tony Blair instigated the NATO bombing on Yugoslavia. Russia and China vetoed such a measure. As a result, NATO launched its campaign without approvals. Russia and China stated it was a humanitarian intervention of the UN Charter. The bombing continued until an agreement was reached to a withdrawal of Yugoslavian armed forces from Kosovo. On March 24, 1999, Western nations carried out their threat against Serbia and began the biggest military conflict on Serbian soil since World War II. NATO saw the war as the only way to end President Slobodan Milosevic's violent crackdown in Kosovo. Schools, monuments, homes and even the Chinese embassy were hit. At the end of the campaign, 11 weeks later, Human Rights Watch estimates around 500 civilians were killed. Then and now, I think it was a great mistake by NATO. The bombing shouldn't have happened. I think the goals which NATO wanted to achieve could have been done with less energy and citizens could have been spared from what happened. I am an American, 100% American. Uh, well, as 100% American as you can be in the United States, we're a very diverse country, but I have no Balkan blood in me. In the USA, we don't know a lot about the rest of the world. All the world media focuses on us. All of our media in the USA is corrupted. It's, it's uh, financed by big corporations, the weapon industry, uh, things like that. We've got lobbyists, big corporations lobbying our congressmen. It's the most corrupt bunch of shit imaginable. At that time, when my president came on TV and said that we needed to do something for the betterment of the world, I supported it. I thought, my God, we've got to do it. Why are they killing these innocent people? You know, that's what I thought, folks, honestly. You, you like to think in your country that when your president and your government tells you something is right, that it's right. I did think that until here in Serbia, I volunteered at schools. I went all over and volunteered. I remember down in Pirot, I was speaking to a group of kids in Pirat, and when I was finished speaking, I had some kids come up and say, hey, I said, where are you from? They said, we're from Kosovo. And I said, Kosovo Matoya, and I said, wow, what are you doing here? And they said, well, we have no choice. They said, one day in our house, we had a knock at the door, the KLA. Uh, the KLA showed up. That was the Kosovo Liberation Army, which the United States of America used to label as a terrorist organization, mind you. They came up on their door armed, and they tell these Serbian families, you have 20 minutes, an hour, whatever, to pack up whatever you can carry and get out of here or else. So their families did it. Families with a big farm. They load up what possessions they could take. They get out they, to, to avoid being slaughtered, if you will. Now, the kids said, I said, oh, wow. I said, so you were forced out of there. Where, where's your property now? Did you get money for it? Who's there? No. An Albanian family moved into this property. And I thought, what? How is that fair? That can't happen, you know? How can the United Nations, how can the world let something like that, an injustice like that happen, okay? Then I start looking into it a little bit more. When you're outside of your own country, you start watching media, listening to opposing views to your country's corrupted media. My government, People that were involved in the Clinton White House, the ones I really looked up to and I thought, wow, they're what is good about this world. They're keeping the world like it should be, peaceful and safe. But come to find out those people responsible for the bombing campaign against Serbia in 1999, Madeleine Albright. Some things had labeled this war Madeleine's War. In the Clinton White House, there was at least four folks, many others, that invested into this new country. Madeleine Albright, 
Secretary of State at the time, responsible for this conflict. She had an investment firm, which many of these former politicians in the USA do have. Hers was called the Albright Capital Management. They invested hundred million or so dollars into the telecommunication and postal service of the new country of Kosovo, if you will. They said that they were looking to sell that Okay, and the selling of that would have been between 400 and 800 million dollars. Currently, the United States of America has no law that says former government officials cannot profit on something like that. That shows you're not doing it for the good of humanity, you're doing it for profit. They said over 25,000 housing units, that's homes, that's apartment buildings, etc., were destroyed. Here in Serbia. We say we're doing this to hurt Slobodan Milosevic to get him out of power. We're attacking civilians here. Okay. Nish Serbia, there was a bomb dropped not once but twice on a passenger train that many people killed. Innocent civilians in a passenger train on a bridge. A number of 19 hospitals, over 20 some clinics, health clinics destroyed. Uh, nearly 100 schools destroyed, 40 plus bridges all over Serbia destroyed, and over 2,500 airstrikes, 500,000 missiles uh, here in Serbia. That is a number I saw online. Look it up if you so desire. Over 1,300 cruise missiles. 37,000 some cluster bombs. Cluster bombs are illegal. That's a big bomb that inside it's got these little bombs that'll explode. Uh, all with depleted uranium. Used up uranium, they just, they, it's expensive to, to get rid of. So they use it here. Hey, it's cheaper. Let's just drop it here on Serbia. People are still suffering from effects of that. They say the cancer numbers here in Serbia are extremely high for things such as that. When I heard about the bombing of Serbia, I thought maybe it was one or two bombs here, bomb there, you know, things like that. No, almost every single day there was bombs going off all over this country, you know. Unbelievable. Uh, and and it's, it's still to this day, it troubles me to be an American here and to hear things like that. In 2013, 200,000 civilians died of cancer because of the bombing in 1999. 